Hello. Um, what we're going to look at now, because it started to get very, very chilly, so uh, the garden is all sort of calming down and uh, various plants are sort of dying so that they'll come up next year in the spring. So we don't only look after the plants in the garden, we have to look after all the bugs as well. So what I'm going to do, and I've never done this before, and I really should have done, is to make a bug home. So a little home for all the bugs, all the bees and insects and all sorts of things um, that they can go into when it gets really, really frosty and they have somewhere to sleep through the long winter. Um, we look after the birds, so why not look after the bugs? So that's what I'm going to show you today. This doesn't need to cost anything at all. You can find these bits and pieces that you need around. Um, I have. Uh, you need some old bricks if uh, somebody has knocked down a wall near where you live you can go and ask for some of those bricks enough said about that um, I've got some bits of wood here as well um, and um, also let me just show you the bricks the bricks just normal bricks you know if they they're broken in any way it doesn't matter um, so just any bricks that you can get hold of uh, some old planks of wood that you've got this was the underneath of my neighbor's bed uh, the slatty bit so I'm I've got that uh, you also need ooh, some sticks which I we went for a walk in the wood and uh, I bought a load of sticks home uh, all sorts of sizes, um, but don't go too big on these ones. Um, you also, if you can find it, um, a log, because what we're going to do with this is we're going to drill holes in it. So this one needs to be, you know, fairly substantial, uh, but I'm going to cut it into bits so it doesn't matter how long it is. If you can only find one short stumpy one, so be it. Uh, you need some cardboard, thin cardboard that you can roll up. I got this from the supermarket. What else did I do? Oh yes, I went for a, a walk in our local park and I found that had fallen off the trees some little evergreeny bits there and also I found some cones as well so you need some of those. Um, leaves if they're because all the leaves have fallen off the trees now so um, grab some of those because we can shove those in a hole and um, also any plant pots because they will be useful as well. So I will show you how to build a bug home. Okay, now think about where you're gonna put it. You don't want it in full sun. You want it in somewhere that's sort of slightly cool but safe um, and maybe a little bit sort of a, a cold end of the garden um, because then it won't overheat. So I'm gonna put this, this is um, right next to my compost heap at the end of my garden and this is quite a, a cool corner. Um, it's by the shed here uh, and the bird house is just up the top so they might be useful for the birds as well. Um, I've got wood chip on the floor which is what I just, I've just put in this area um, because the grass would never grow because uh, we have the trampoline here. Um, and in the corner here I've just got a little plant that's just um, a honeysuckle which is just growing. I had to cut it down when we had the fencing put in. So I think for me this is the perfect place to put it. Now I want to put it at an angle and I don't really want to get the saw out but you know I could always cut this in half and make it quite small but I'm going to make mine quite large. You can make them whatever size you want it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to put a plank of wood there so that I know what size it's going to be and where it needs to go. So I'm going to get my bricks and I'll put one there because that's at one end, one at the other end and to make it super duper sturdy I'll put one in the middle. So hopefully it will go on there just like that. But that's quite low so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two layers of bricks on here just to give a little bit of extra space underneath and then all I need to do is to put some wood on top 
whether you'll need two or three it just depends on the size of your pieces of wood I think I might only put, actually I'll put one there and one there and then I'll put one in between there so that's our first layer and we need to fill each section with something okay now I've just found these in my garden this I had left over when I did um, the bits round the it's it's uh, log roll which um, you put round the outside um, of some beds if you want to uh, to stop the soil from falling out so I've got a few of these left over so I think what I might do is I might just pop these under here especially those few there because they fit just perfectly and then on top of those I think I'm going to put these green bits now you don't want to stuff it too tightly because if you stuff it too tightly then the bugs can't get in so I didn't pull these off the tree they were already on the floor so uh, I just went round with my bag <laughs> I think everybody must have thought I was a bit of a loon and I just picked up a load so that's nice in there oh look there's another couple of bits here not stuffed too tightly but it just gives them some places to go so they can either hide underneath here or there or they can work their way in between these uh, these leaves here and find a nice little place to hide or if they want to then they can uh, there's a little bit of space over the top here um, so that they can find a little home there so I'll fill the next section with something else